Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. Today's going to be a quick little video showing you guys how I clean my fish and uh, just a few little tips about taking care of your catch. So I went out early this morning and uh, got into a couple of fish. Um, my float buried three times. Two of them I lost after just a couple of seconds on the line and then I got this nice little coho. It's a beautiful little fish. caught this year now it might be I don't know three or four pounds something like that but it's a beautiful chrome fish and um, I'm going to just show you guys how I go about cleaning it so obviously the first thing you do when you catch a fish is uh, you, you want to hit it with a rock or a stick right on top of the head and right between the eyes so you can see kind of where I hit it right there that spot that's where their brain is just slightly back from their eyes and right on top. Um, I see a lot of people miss and they hit it back here and they bruise the meat or they're kind of hitting the snout. You want to be hitting right between the eyes and then right after you've killed that fish, you want to cut through the gills and let all the blood out. It makes for a much better quality meat. All right, so you want to take your fish pictures before you do all this to your fish. Uh, the salmon all have a heavy slime coat, especially springs. So to make your fish easier to handle and to make it more palatable on your dinner table, you wanna take your fish, you wanna go from the head towards the tail and stand your knife right up straight and you wanna scrape it. And all the slime comes off the fish. On the coho, usually some of the scales come off too. That's fine. You want to be very thorough. And you can see how I've got the tail in the water so that every time I wipe my knife down there, the slime comes off. Coho are not as slimy as springs and chum. So with the springs, I take even more time and just get all that slime off of there. On a salmon, it's the slime where most of the fishy smell is. So if you get rid of all that slime, your fish will be a lot nicer to cook. I also want to mention while I'm at it, icing your fish. I'm lucky I live just a few minutes from the river, so I usually fish for an hour or two and I bring my catch home and it's in the freezer. Definitely within two hours of having him alive and swimming around in the river. You can see this, this slime scraping process, it isn't quick. Uh, you want to be thorough, get every bit of the fish. And the cells that are in the skin keep producing more slime as you scrape it. So with a spring, I scrape it once and I gut it and then I scrape it one more time. And when you get rid of all that slime, the fish freezes better, it cooks better. It's just all around a worthwhile couple of minutes. You spent a lot of time and money chasing these fish. You don't want to neglect these last little steps. So before you gut your fish, if it's a doe, this one isn't, it's a little buck. You want to make sure that the eggs don't get wet, so you want to flip it up and um, take the eggs out without having them touch the water. So this next part here is not strictly speaking according to regulations. BC fishing regulations say that you have to keep all the fins and on, on the fish if, until you get it home. So the head and the fins have to stay on. So I take this little fin off. The purpose of that regulation is so the fish can be identified and measured properly. So I, I take this little fin off. You'd have to have a real stickler of a conservation officer to give you a fine for cutting off the little pectoral fin. So I slide my knife right in behind that fin. I go behind this bony plate and up towards the top of the head. Cut that off. I'll show you again on the other side. Maybe I'll hold it up a little bit better. 
so that you can see it in the camera. So there's a little hollow in behind this fin. I start my knife in there, cut in behind the bony plate, angling the knife towards the head the whole time so that I don't waste any of the meat. And I kind of circle around that fin. Careful not to cut myself here. And out. So now I can cut. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see all this. It's kind of awkward. So now I cut through the gills. Top and bottom. Now everything comes out and the guts should go in the river. All these nutrients, they feed all the other animals that are living in here. That's where these nutrients belong. And you don't want to leave them on the bank to attract things like bears. I love bears, but I don't want them sharing my run. So, and then the cleanup crew's here. Now the last step is to take the kidney out of the fish. So this blood stripe down the back, that's the kidney. And you want to just cut through it, scrape with your knife, and you scrape with your thumb. And it all comes out. So that's it, this fish, give it a little wash. And now I can go home to lay it. in the freezer for some sashimi dinners. Thanks for watching. See you next time.